Hello, it's Celeste here, and welcome to A Crafter's Story. A little while back, um, I'm a big fan of the Graphic Fairy. She's online, and if you're looking for any really beautiful ephemera or pictures that you want to download and use in your scrapbooking, junk journaling, please just head across. She does have a subscription and um, offer... Uh, I think it's an annual plan, and then she also has some freebies that you can sign up for, and you get a, a a weekly newsletter, I think it's on a Friday. So one of the things that I saw is how she makes her own gilding paste, and she used a different glue to me, I think she used an Aileen's glue. I decided that I'm going to use the Dollar Store Clear Glue, um, and it works just fine. So I wanted to share with you how... I did that and how I was able to get the effect of this 3D embossed sort of gold pasty um, gilding paste. Um, so this is the gold one and I hope you can see it. The This is the white one. Yeah, I hope you can see that. Um, then there was a, a pink. That I was able to make so I got that one onto a tag this one's going this one's on a pocket and then this is also the pink and I thought well let me try something a little different so I've got the pink on this side and I've got the gold <laughs> surprise surprise on this side and then uh, no actually not lastly almost lastly but this is the purple and so the purple also looked really nice. I thought it looked really nice on this one. And then I put the white on the back. And then lastly, I was gifted some of these little pearlesque, pearly, silver, tiny, 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 tiny little beads. Um, and I didn't have the foggiest idea. <laughs> what on earth I was going to do with them but by mixing them with a the glue I was able to make oh did I yep there's one little get back in there you <clears throat> I was able to mix some of this with a glue and make this incredible 3d paste it's just so simple it blows my mind how easy this was and so there was a, a join between the washi tape and the cover that I put on this little mini journal. And I, I don't like this. It just looks too raw. And so by emboss, uh, embossing, covering it uh, with the, I don't know what they're called. I'm going to call them pills, silver pills, I guess. Uh, mixed with the glue, I was able to come up with this. It's quite thick. I don't know if you guys can see it in the in the video. I'd say it's about an uh, eighth of an inch um, thick once it's dry. So let me show you how I made it. It's it'll blow your mind when you see how easy it is. So I went ahead to the dollar store and I bought this loose uh, eyeshadow. Now this container drove me a little a little bananas because <laughs> when you open it and you take out the little brush, there's this minuscule little hole at the bottom there. So I had to smack the daylights out of this thing and turn it upside down and really just smack, 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 smack. So it took me a little while to get it all out. I think in the future what I'm going to do is not to get these guys, but rather to get the little eyeshadow pans and then just taking maybe a um, a toothpick and loosening it in the pan and then throwing it into my little dish. So because this, I mean, my my, it was after doing this forever in a day and I had it for each of these colors, um, it just... It was just too much, guys. <clears throat> so, but I did get some really nice colors. Got the pink and the purple 
and there was the white and the gold, so I'm happy with the colours at least. Alright, so we'll set those aside. I've already emptied this out because I didn't think you'd want to watch me smacking this little bottle left, right and centre. Because it took a minute, uh, quite a few minutes actually. Alright, I'd say I've probably got about mm, a, just under a level teaspoon of powder in here. And I'm going to add, roughly speaking, a level teaspoon. Oh, so it's a 50-50 ratio. Level teaspoon of the white glue. And I'm not really going to measure. I'm going to eyeball this. So once I've kind of covered it and all the uh, powders underneath the glue, um, I'm just going to mix it up. And if it looks a little dry, you can always add a little extra glue. You can always add, but you can't take out. So I, yeah, I think I'm going to need a, another drop. Just a drop. Let's get this mixed up. Honestly, you guys, once you've got this mixed up and all the powder is mixed into the glue, you're done. That's it. You are done. Done, done, done. Done, done, done. Um, and you've got the paste that you need. So, there you go. It is pretty much done. And you would be surprised how long this tiny little, it looks like very little, it looks like not even a centimetre deep or a um, third of an inch deep in, in this container. But it does last. You don't use very much. So, I think, oh, let me show you an example of something that I that I've done in addition to these. I think I've shown you this journal before that I'm working on, and so I've got this this window um, this window page that I've added, and um, inside is a pocket, and so what I did is prior to pasting the pocket into the journal I put some of the gold gilding paste along the edge and it um, because it's green on green it sort of marks the entry of the pocket it sort of identifies where that where that fold ends and then um, this guy I have I have this uh, paper stamp uh, not stamp um, punch paper punch and I punched out a, about eight of these little hearts and put some of the paste along the one side only and then I just laid them around like that once the paste once the gilding paste was dry I laid them out in a circle and then stuck a little bit of extra gilding paste in the middle just so that um, let me put this here I think it's better for you guys to see laid them out um, in a, a circle to make a flower once the gilding paste was dry and put a little extra gilding paste in the middle and um, it just um, I don't know, it kind of finishes it off for me, you know it was something different so let me show you how I did this and I just stick my finger in here <laughs> I'm not really I don't really mind too much when it comes to glue because it's whoop Ah, it's just glue and it just wipes right off so here's the little heart and I am literally just going to run my finger Dun! and let's put that guy down we'll do one more and then we'll move on to something else and again I'm just going to sort of run my finger along there can always run it again if it's not smooth there you go and that's going to dry beautifully and eventually you'll have these petals that you can make the flower out of or you know if you decide you wanted just to <clears throat> excuse me if you decided you just wanted to do, do something like a little accent down a page <clears throat> and do wonder if my in, in camera let me move these guys across maybe do um, a little triplet of the 
uh, little hearts. Maybe you have the gild paste on that side, then this side, then that side. Maybe you have a gild on that side. This one has gild all the way around. This one has it on this side. Play around. Play around with your composition. It's There are no rules, guys. I think I've said that before. But there just really aren't any rules. All right, so now when it comes to those little pearls, <coughs> let us... Let me show you the consistency of this. And I'll just clean this off. And let me turn it around. I hope I don't have any gold on my fingers. That I don't think so. I think we're fine. <coughs> Alright, so I'm going to go... Um, they tend to be a little heavier than the eyeshadow. So I've noticed that they drop down to the bottom. So you'll have to give it a bit of a stir. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm so sorry. And I think this might, you might be able to do this with glitter as well. You know, like a glitter glue, the same kind of concept. And I think I just need to give it a little bit of a stir. There we go. And then, with this one I didn't stick my finger in because I wanted a little bit of a straighter line. And I'm just going to twist my toothpick as I laid it down. And just keep going until it's all covered. And you can, if you want, <clears throat> once your gilding paste is dry, you can go back. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Uh, you can go back and put on a, a, a second layer. Oh, what am I doing? If you want to. So if you find that your maybe I didn't completely cover the join, I can come back later and just fill in the gaps. Yeah, I think that's because this is the back side of this little book. I'm not too worried. But I think that's probably good. Yeah, I'm going to leave that as is. That's perfect. But you know, I think what I'm going to do to stop it from running is I'm going to um, stop this page from jumping up. There you go. Okay, I think I did get a little bit of gold. Nyar. Oh, it's okay. There you go. Okay. And then let's put this guy away. Because <coughs> he is done. And I have two more examples, just two tags that I've made in the past that I think especially this one definitely needs a little little something extra now if I had had green I think I probably would have put a green on the one side and a gold on the other maybe green here gold here I don't know but I don't have green so today I'm just gonna go with a gold and let's let me show you again just with a finger and run it along the side. There you go. I found that when I have multiple papers, like I do with this one here, I've got the I've got a card in between, I've got this paper on top, I've got more paper underneath. This is a nice way just to seal off the edge, and that way you don't actually see all the layers of paper that you've got. Um, so that's another advantage of this, apart from it being really pretty. <coughs> there is a way for you, there's a, a purpose to it as well. <coughs> I think I have to stop drinking coffee with milk. I have to start drinking coffee with coconut milk or something. Because it just messes with my throat and um, it's the weirdest thing. My dad has the same problem. I don't know if it's the milk or if it's just me. Maybe it's just me. All right. So I'm going to try and drop this and not... Oh, I did it. <laughs> Always makes me nervous. All right, so I dropped it. It's now going to... I'm just going to leave it. I'm not going to touch it because if I touch it now, things are going to smear. I'm not going to touch that. And let me get as much of this glue off my fingers as I possibly can. And let's do one last one. And again, you know, I think if I had a green, um, 
I might have enjoyed putting a green on here, maybe front and back, because it would have just picked up on this pretty sticker here. But I don't. Hmm. What do you guys think? What are, should I do white? Because I think gold, gold wouldn't do it. So yeah, let's do white. I think white will look good. You guys can tell me in the comments if you think I made the right choice. Ooh, I think that's a bit much. And I'm using a different finger because there's too much gold on this one. And I don't want to contaminate the white with the gold. This white somehow to me um, seems a little thinner. I don't know if it's just me. But... It dries beautifully and I can go back, like I said earlier, I can go back and add another layer. So that's not a biggie. Okay, let's see if I can, ah, see if I can do this without goofing. Oh gosh, you know what I should have done? Um, I should have taken this off. Can I? Ooh, risking, risk, risk, risk. Let's see if I can. Please don't, don't touch the white. And I'm now working with my pinky and my ring finger. Neither of which, oh, thank goodness. Okay, we did it. Whew. That was an ad a crafting adventure. <laughs> oh, the, the tension was palpable. <laughs> All right. I'm just being goofy. All right, so I'm not going to be able to do the back yet. I've made that mistake before. I go ahead and I get all excited and I turn it over and I do the back and I think, oh, hold on a second. Now, now I have to put it down. So if I do the back, I'm going to spoil the back, right? So um, I, have, I had to learn some patience and do just the one side. Let it... Let it dry. See if I can drop it. Oh, oh, that almost touched the bottle. Um, and honestly, I'm making a big deal out of touching and dropping and all that stuff. But don't worry. If it does happen, it really isn't a big deal. You can wipe it off. You can go over it. You, can, you can't scrape it off, but you can cover it with a sticker. Nothing's ever going to be permanent in junk journaling or scrapbooking because there are no rules. And we are able to... It's, it's what I love the most about this kind of artwork, crafting, and creative expression is that you can't really mess up because there's so many ways that you can fix a mistake. <clears throat> and sometimes mistakes turn out to be really pretty. So I don't, I don't stress too much. Not when I'm crafting. Other stuff, yes, but this, nope, mm-mm. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.